Okay, hey everyone, uh, with you Elena Litvinova and in this video we um, try to study together how to create transparent text on any background. It can be a blur background or I don't know, a gradient background or image background and etc. And uh, also we um, will divide text, transparent text on this transparent and another color, for example, white. Uh, and in this lesson, we will try to study how to do that. So, but before, of course, not forget to subscribe on this channel, press the bell icon, uh, write comments if you have any question and go to watch how to do that. Uh, of course, we will not use any, um, I don't know, images or etc. We will use normal, proper HTML and CSS. So, uh, let's start. Uh, I already have a project. Uh, you can download it on GitHub. So, just uh, copy and npm install npm run dev. <clears throat> I already did it. So, npm run dev before need do npm install. So, and after it, uh, this project will open and let's study how I did it. Uh, I think here we should uh, change African first <laughs> because yes. Uh, and let's look what we have in this project. Uh, I put this link on GitHub and in description under the video so you will be able to go and just check but let's check it together with me so this is just react typescript project which was created with vid uh, it is a special builder quite awesome and you can try it as well and here i just removed uh, not needed files for me and left just main d6 uh, with application and here main card. Uh, I also divided some views on components, pages and styles. Uh, I added global style, reset before, reset styles and global styles um, and imported it somewhere there and also created pages with just only one main component and uh, cover card. Uh, before I need to say about uh, this um, layout, sorry that I forget it. Uh, this layout uh, was provided to me by uh, Abdulu. Uh, actually, I connected with him, I think, uh, one year ago and subscribed on him because I really like different designs uh, and I love to look awesome things. And I remember this uh, was really uh, how you see uh, this layout was added in uh, last year and I fall in love into it because it really looks awesome, quite simple, but so, I don't know, the picture, everything looks cool. And uh, not so t time ago, a lot of time ago, I just asked him, um, could you give me some uh, just this layout to be honest? Uh, to create video for YouTube and he very kindly sent me even more. I said that of course I mentioned him uh, and yeah, Abdulu, thank you for providing for me these layouts and uh, people subscribe and uh, also I know that Abdulu can make for you web design uh, and you can and how I know you can order layouts from them. Really a very responsible, amazing web designer and I just love his illustration. So continue. Uh, how to do this layout. So I had main uh, and uh, here just header which was very simple. Uh, this header independent, it just display flex. Uh, inside of it we have container uh, which is for uh, spaces, right layouts and here as well we use it. So uh, and uh, navigation with uh, like a logo, 
is H1 and menu. Inside of after it uh, article with one section and cover card, I just suggested that if it will be a website, so it should be just one section and might be you after it scroll and there are more sections. You can find more sections. So, uh, and cover card. Cover card, it is everything about it. So picture, title, subtitle, text and uh, button. Uh, also, this button, how you can see, also have a transparent text with uh, another approach and we will look at it. And let's go to cover card. So HTML for Z. What I have here, uh, let's study how to do this awesome effect. Uh, first of all, there is a content which are located in 50% of the screen. It's not super fit uh, with the layout which is here because here it's around, I believe, 45%. But it, for me, it was important to understand how to make this transparent text because I'm not super care about it. But it's never mind, it's possible to change very simple, very fast. <clears throat> but okay, first of all, container this card. What we have? Uh, let's check. Uh, container. Uh, is this, is there is no blur background here because I needed to put these uh, letters under this text with background and a blur background I put on H2. But anyway, there is container inside of it. Uh, content with uh, spaces, paddings. Uh, here just flex with 50 VW and line items flex end at the bottom. Yeah, and height uh, 100 VH. Uh, inside of it container where we have also flex, gap 32 pixels and flex direction column. That's it. About link. So here uh, how you see this is really transparent letters and I use a special property mix blend mode uh, and here it works uh, color is black and background is white and if you have uh, opposite backgrounds it can works and make um, uh, text transparent but works this property is quite interesting so there are a lot of if we try to google these properties there are a lot of um, values there which you oh, sorry CSS why it's Microsoft uh, okay um, CSS if we go into Mozilla, so we can see different uh, values for this property. And I tried all of them, played around it, but it looks that um, there is background uh, color, there is text color. And it tried to combine somehow background and text color. It can be multiply or different properties or screen dark and light and and it looks really different depend on background for example if we go here uh, from this article uh, for example we use exclusion and we see something around it uh, to be honest i not super understand why it's possible to use for example this i even can't see that contrast is very bad and accessibility as well so um but it's possible to play and if you have black and white and a value screen you can have transparent letters with this receipt but if you have a blur background or any other background how to create a transparent letter so let's look on my receipt uh, first of all i had to uh, HTML elements. Why two HTML elements? Because I use it uh, here 
uh, HTML passed here. So if we look at main, I passed here HTML because I wanted to separate two words and uh, it is possible only with HTML, unfortunately. Uh, uh, because in CSS there is no any property where you can just uh, say pick up second word and say be blog for example. Uh, because of it I used here HTML. Instead, uh, for example here we will have just only one word. I believe that it is possible to try to play with pseudo elements before and after and for this thing. Only one thing which we can use, uh, use uh, is, for example, uh, data title, uh, and here put this title. Uh, and inside of CSS, we uh, uh, in pseudo elements before and after, we can pick up this attribute and put in content property. And it, I think, it should work, <coughs> but. Also, it's need to play because here I put overflow hidden for each two, but anyway, I believe it's possible somehow to play because letters is transparent. Anyway, I created two HTML double. First is transparent letters, second one white letters. Uh, and let's go how to create transport. I decided to use uh, the ground clip uh, for text uh, and how it works. Uh, before I didn't know, I, I'm not expected that it's possible, but after it I had an idea. So I had H2 here. I put background and background filter create and after it creates this glass effect like, yeah. But how to use and also I put here like um, Position absolute, top, left, width 50VW, 50% hey, 100VH, overflow hidden, uh, phone weight bold, and uh, text align uh, center and text transform lowercase. But actually, I'm not sure that this is play. No, something play. Yeah, text align center, yeah. Um, and inside of it so this is an overflow hidden i put here you see uh inside of it i have a larger span which is absolute and i put it with 100 person hey 100 v uh, h 100 person uh made this text centralized and uh put background on this span for me, it was important that the background of this card was exactly on the right way, right way, like background on these letters. Uh, because what is a uh, background clip? It's like a mask. You have, uh, for example, letters, you have background, and you just using this property, background clip text, this background appear on only on letters. Everything else became transparent, yeah? Uh, but here it's important to say uh, color transparent. Uh, where is it? Color transparent, important to say. Then it will, I mean, we'll see just only background. We will see. And so, what after? Uh, we have the same size, the same position for this span and for this card. And after it, I use this background uh, clip and color transparent. And my image here, this letter show exactly the right position of the image. So we have really good effect. That's cool. If we, for example, remove a shadow background, we just have this half of text so, yes uh, and everything is super right connected everything is on the right places and we can uh, I mean resize it and we see that second thing what needed to do it, uh, it is white letters 
<laughs> how to do that yes and connect them super best way i decided to use additional html how i said uh, that there are two words and maybe it is possible to play with before after but need to check to be honest because uh, might be um, you will uh, found some uh, narrow cases okay and what here here I use also div absolute top uh, top left 50 percent pw so we shifted on 50 percent hex uh, 100 v uh, h 100 percent also overflow hidden so our letters which will be inside we just cut them and uh, do everything the same uh, as a for h2 so our letters uh, should be on the exactly same position inside of it i have span and i say left uh, position relative here it's never mind i think absolute it's also will works but i decided to use a relative it also normal left minus 50 percent vw so we have on the same position this and this and we have the same styles for both of these um, spans and here of course i i have color white somewhere i believe it's color white by default for all letters on this website um uh not maybe for card don't remember where i put this uh color white but anyway we have these letters here uh display flex align items justify content and this element cuts them and we uh, combine uh these words together and one part is transparent the second part is this one um unfortunately you can't uh, choose it by like a normal way but might be might be uh, it is possible you know if not do here overflow hidden but how we see it works um i i know what to do overflow auto for example or no and um for if because this is transparent it should work it's not bad mm, but might be this anyway ah this is that uh, position set index down so okay uh, we cannot exactly do overflow hidden here it will works and yeah so this effect and it looks like that and uh you can create it as well uh in description under this video i put my github account and you will be able uh to uh, download this code of course i put uh abdulu uh instagram account you should subscribe as well and look the awesome design and might be order from him uh, amazing web designer also you can subscribe on my instagram account i also write some posts here so i hope this lesson was interesting this effect with transparent text on any background because you can use any background here and it will works uh, with uh, white text from the other side so um i hope it was interesting uh please subscribe on my channel press bell icon and see you in next video with your elena litvina bye bye